Hello. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did the thing that I did. You know the you you get what I'm talking about. The thing with the stuff. How's everybody doing? Uh, how was how was this? group of individuals chaos always good to see ya michaelopolis michaelop my yeah michaelopolis that that is has a mouthful of letters i hope you're doing well it's like it's just us alone what 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 if you put your Minecraft head next to mine? <laughs> I'm just I'm kidding. <laughs> Unless <laughs> What's up bro? I'm I'm vibing, you know? I'm let's see. Uh what really has happened this week? Um I finished Okami HD. Beautiful game. Absolutely loved it. Um, let's see, what else, uh, what else actually happened this week? Uh, I'm just emotionally drained from work. It's two days a week on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, I work at my grandmother's payroll company, and I help just do, like, odds and ends, like, whatever stuff that everybody else is too busy to do, I do that. Uh, so that's basically, uh, what I'm up to. Um... Other than that, we've we've honestly just been chilling. Um you know, always tuning into like Kung Fu streams in my spare time. I just finished writing a video script, so really a lot has been happening. Oh, and also school's starting back up because last week was like um they had a break week where there were just no assignments. Uh, it was, I, I'd say it was good for my mental health that we had a week off. So uh, there was that. So now I got to get back into the swing of things. I have an acad uh, academic coach to help me with like my time management. You know, a skill that I, I lack severely in. Um, yeah. Really, it's just... I, I feel like it could definitely be summed up by saying we're vibing. Because I feel like that just really gets the point across. Yeah, time management was definitely... Well, not was. It still is, like, the toughest thing for me to do. And it doesn't help that I'm also an event coordinator for our school's uh, gaming club. So I have to literally manage time for other people. So it it's it's stressful at times. Oh, that's a cool heart emoji. Virtual hug. That new global emote. You know, the colors in that emote. That looks dope. I like that. All right, so for those who weren't around for last stream, or if you're watching on YouTube last episode, last time on Persona 4 Golden, um, it turns out we found the killer. I forget how to pronounce the name, but it was the husband of the announcer woman who died uh, at the very beginning of the game. So that was quite the plot twist, and they've actually taken Nanako hostage um so we have to save nanako now so we're gonna be taking a little bit of time to grind um well not exactly grind but we definitely want to keep ourselves like prepared so that we're ready for anything uh, so that's mainly what this is gonna be 
uh, maybe work on social links a little bit so that we get more benefits during the uh, boss fight. Um, so, yeah. You know what? I'm actually... I, I want to see how long we have so I can make the most out of my time, but... I don't know. That's why the South Pole is colder than the North Pole. Speaking of cold, got cold really quick this year. Wear extra layers so you don't get sick. Foreshadowing. <laughs> 2020. It's no good to wear warm-ups under your skirts, because no one can see your legs. I don't like that. <laughs> Back on topic, I'll ask a question about the South Pole. Uh, Alright. Which country do you think the South Pole belongs to? Austra you know what? No, I look up the answers, and you know what? I'm tired of pretending that I don't, because I do. We're, we're, we're looking up the answers, because your boy is kind of uneducated. <laughs> All right, so no country owns the South Pole. So the Antarctic Treaty System of 1961 rules that all land below 60 degrees south latitude belongs to no nation. Similarly, the North Pole is not owned by any country either. In fact, there's no land at the North Pole. It's just ice floating on the ocean. That's a lie. I saw Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I know damn well was in the North Pole. That's where Santa is. Yep. Okay. Um. Let's see where social links are at. Because we want to make sure that we are as maxed out as we can be. Uh, practice building? Maybe Kanji's here. We gotta get him caught up. Really? Oh, this really, uh... Puts a damper on the plans that I had. So I believe we got to the fine, uh, not the final boss, but like we got to the boss of the dungeon. Um, what's this all about? Agadine. Let's see. And we also have Throne. Um, and we also have Gabriel. Okay, so these three we could play around with in the Velvet Room. So I think we're going to quickly do that. I'm going to give skill cards green wall. So let's try... Hey, what's the forecast? Skill change. Interesting. <laughs> so triangle spread with Gabriel, Throne, and Cerberus, we would get... Kumhanda. Hakuna Matata. Ooh. Automatic Masuku Kaja. And we'd get alertness, which lowers the odds of being taken by surprise. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because, I mean, we want to be able to... Um, well, make room for future personas, and also, like, we're not using these three, so... They're expendable. Uh, Hama Boost and Hameon. Kamehameha! <laughs> Alright. Kind of funny, because this persona looks like it would be a death. Or like it would specialize in darkness. Alright, let's -a go. That is cool looking. Allow Agadine to change? Sure. 
door light. What does that do? I actually would like to see that. Automatic revival with 1 HP when killed by light magic. Okay, that might be helpful. Although I don't think we've run into... I don't think the boss has light magic, so that will be kind of a non-issue. Uh, what I want to definitely do, go in here and sell what we've gotten. Ooh, 40,000. Yeah, oh boy. And we've got some new weapons. Uh, we're gonna go for, uh, we're gonna sell both of these, so that's another 4,000. We, we've got it good. Uh, let's see. The Ahori Nomo- Ooh, Ahori Nomikoto. That, that is a mouthful. Reduce fire damage 30%. Yeah, it's more powerful, why not? Sorry, Inaba Trout, but... Actually, you know what? I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, Cortesia. Cortesia? I don't know. Oh, more strength. A uh, heavy, durable fan. Sure, why not? Then... This lowers accuracy, but it goes up to 220. No. Naruto, we can definitely improve. Holy, that is a good weapon. Goes from 80 attack to 180. Yeah, Naruto is pretty weak, so that's actually, like, that is a really good adjustment. And then we're gonna go into armor. What about Protag? Evasion's lower, but we can solve... Actually... I want our defense to be good, but the auto Tarukaja is just too good. Like, I can't say no to that. That is just too useful. Um, let's see, Kanji... He also has auto Tarukaja. Naruto, the e Elint Duffel. Oh wow, defense is shit. One that just cute and works in any situation. Ooh, it lowers evasion a little bit though. The capital robe would help. Um, almost none of these have good benefits though. So we're gonna go with a capital robe for now. Worst case scenario, we just buy the next one up. And then we want to buy Naoto. An accessory that actually helps her. Um, we're gonna want to increase max HP because uh, actually no, max SP because they're very versatile. Um. Hmm. Wonder if we can get something better for. Protag. Max SP. He can't beat raising all stats by 5. You just can't. Uh, for Teddy? Eh. Hold on, let me just go into the equipment menu. For Teddy, we're gonna get rid of the fire suppressor. And then we're probably gonna want to go with the land badge, because having our healer uh, get a bit of health every turn, that's always gonna be helpful. Um, of course, we're gonna raid the vending machine. They got, like, vending machines for everything over in Japan. It's crazy. Just like how there's, uh, gachapon machines for so many different kinds of, like, media franchises. Because I was, um, 
I was doing some research on a certain topic for the first video of the November series. Um, which I'm not going to say a lot about because I don't want to spoil it. But I, I think it'll be fun to watch. Um, but yeah, in my research, I was just, I saw some Gachapon stuff and I was thinking like, that is super, like, it's crazy how common those are. Uh, sure, we'll work at the daycare. Why not? And no, the video is not going to be about Gachapon. I know I made it sound like it will be, but it, it won't be. Mister, let's arm wrestle. I'm going to kick your ass, kid. Oh, it's you. Are you getting along with Mr. You? No. What? But, well, I mean... I mean, you kick someone's ass in arm wrestling enough, they're bound to be salty. You don't have to come pick me up. Oof. Do you like children? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I like kids. When you become a father... <laughs> Yeah, okay. When you become a father, you'll probably help raise your kids. Like those fathers in TV dramas? No. <laughs> it's so tiring. I don't hate him, but... You have problems. You're still a child, I see. Hey, I'm 16. I didn't like coming here because I'd run into the other mothers, but... Haha. Uh -huh. Felt like you can understand Aries' feelings of loneliness a bit. Yeah, I'm just a 16 year old who's trying to, you know, get paid so that we can take down little demons, but, um, yeah, life sucks. <laughs> I'm an asshole today. I don't know why. Are you Yuta Kun's mother? Is it okay for you to leave Yuta Kun by himself for this long? I'm not sure it's such a good idea. Even if you are worried about the young new caretaker being able to watch over your child. Of course, I'm sorry to trouble you, if you'll excuse me. 10,000 yen, that's why I do it. The Arcana is just like a side benefit. Uh, normally, Nanako would be saying welcome back, but she's not with us right now. That sounded grim. She's not dead. Yet. Not saying she will be, but she has the potential. That's a bad thing to have potential for. Try not to be dead. But death death is kind of cringe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired. My best friend at work is the Keurig, honestly. That's why I'm drinking like two cups of coffee at work each day. I mean, it's only two days a week that I work, but still. Oh, we got some more royal jelly. Uh, what's up with this kid? Student Health Association members, huh? You don't have to go. I could just leave, but... I wouldn't feel right about it when all the other members are working. Seems like he's an earnest person. You're you, Kun, right? Teacher said you're filling in for an absent health committee member, so you have to go too. Told you, okay? You better go or else I'll get suspended. Well, and... <laughs> You got dragged in again. You have to turn in some notes, so I'll join you later. Just go on ahead. Apparently, you're in the Student Health Association for another day. 
Is it even normal for a high school to have an infirmary? <laughs> Still lower members, so I am grateful. Really wish they didn't call us in today. Heck, half the people here are saying they have dates or something. Plus, we have to take inventory? It's such BS. Why? Inventory is vital, my guy. He's exempt from homework. Wow. I envy that. Now everyone's talking about Saki Konishi's brother, the guy we were just talking to. We're gonna just not comment. Oh, if you're so jealous, then why don't you have your own family kill? Yikes. That is a real heckin' yikes. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill the mood. Okay, back to work. Wow, that's... yikes. It, you probably shouldn't say things like that... in general. Oh, he's still here. Oh. You didn't go home yet? I didn't want to just leave when everyone else was still working. I just felt like I... Oh, your sleeve has dirt on it. It was because of inventory, huh? <laughs> Sorry. So supposed to help with that. Use this. You were given a cute handkerchief. Uh, you know what? That... Eh, never mind. I'll stay here a little longer, so... Goodbye. Part ways with Saki Konishi's brother and went home. Very interesting person. Doesn't seem to be a social link with them, though. Actually, what's on the shopping channel? Eagle eye gear. As well as a bit of diet food. And then Maguro tuna. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the name of that fish, Meguro Tuna, is a reference to Shoji Meguro, who is the composer for all the Persona games. Uh, I guess we'll go for the eagle. Uh, mm, actually, no. We probably shouldn't buy anything right now, because there's a boss. Alright, maybe today should be the day we, uh, go into the TV world and try to defeat that boss. Yo, know actually, let's look at our inventory, just to be sure. 400 HP to an ally, restores an ally's HP. Oh yeah, we're ready. Alright, time to take on the boss. ourselves here we go
Nana-chan. I'll save you, Nana-chan. Chan? Chan? I, I don't know how it's pronounced. Alright, so we're gonna make sure we have the best persona possible equipped. Do we have any auto skills? Alright, we'll equip him so we'll have Auto Masakunda and Auto Tarukaja. So that would be really good. <laughs> Look at the way we just run in place. That <laughs> looks so goofy. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a shot. Oh, that's right, we have to skip the entire cutscene. If you want to see the actual cutscene, be sure to watch the last episode. Oh uh, yeah, this weird thing. He's like, hey, peace signs. How solid is his grasp on reality? I, I'm. You're what? <gasps> You're Hannah Montana. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Um. Let's see, Marakunda. Uh, no, actually. We're just gonna go for the old-fashioned attacks. Increase Protag's defense. Perfect. Sweet, we're all charged up and focused, so we're gonna do more damage. That's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Kanji. Quad converge? Oh, that's bad. Alright, we're gonna pick a persona that has the least weaknesses. Or a persona that has no weakness, ideally, like this one. Or this one. That gives us more attacking options. Yeah. Let's see. Um, probably this one has more options for skills. Wow, that was awful. There we go. Kanji's been hit. Oh, that's a yikes. The power of wind skills is greater now. Power of wind is greater. Okay, so Garudine. 
Oh, you were not kidding. All right, so we're going to go for the Mediorama. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Hell yeah, Kanji. Kanji's been hit. Someone help him. Oh crap, this is bad. God's judgment. <laughs> How sweet our attack increase? Nice. Um Guess we'll just regular attack then. Cause we gotta wait to see what is uh what works a lot better i think we have to like wait one turn She healed us. Electric, okay. Holy 1300 damage, that is crazy. Oh crap, taking control of the party members. Alright, this is the part that gave us trouble last time. We're gonna go for Megiddo. Hopefully take down the boss. Crap. This is bad. Okay, attack has been increased. That's not the most useful thing. Oh, this could get really bad. Teddy is hesitating. Okay, good. That's exactly what we want. The more hesitating, the better. Alright, Megiddo, please, please work. Crap. Oh. Oh god, oh god. Oh. Are you okay? No! Everyone breaks free? That's a thing that can- Shit! We were like a turn away from winning! We're gonna try that again, because now we know. Okay, so try like Masakunda. That way we can have a better chance at avoiding. So basically you're playing the defense you're playing defensive. Oh my god, I wanna skip this cutscene, but I can't. Can't do save states either.
Oh, that's bad. There goes our auto Masakunda and Tower Kaja. Don't give up! You okay, Senpai? Hang in there. Okay, good. Attack increased. Hell yeah, those are the kinds of numbers I want to see. Okay, can we not miss, though? Can we not miss, though? Okay, quad converge. Changing the atmosphere. Okay. Why is our accuracy so bad in this boss fight? Crap. Oh, that bad. The power of wind skills is greater now. King. King. Queen. Whatever. <laughs> Oh shit, I should have gone for the wind skill. Uh... Are you shitting me? Alright, so we're gonna use... One of these leaves. Damn it. This is why you always have a healing persona on hand. Problem is, uh, make sure you remember which one is which. Okay, perfect. Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Alright, Ice, we don't have ice on Nalto. Cool. We love to see it, except we don't. But we love it on Teddy!
How did that miss? Crap, now he's using control. Oh, this is this is bad news. Okay. So basically you gotta play Please get back up. Gotta play the smart game here. The defensive game. Uh let's see. Magic mirror. This will help with any magic attacks that our possessed party members will use. We have two of them, so hopefully this works the way I hope it will. It is not working the way I hoped it will. That That is a physical attack. What am I going to do here? <sighs> I guess I'll just do... Healing. Just heal, buffer. That's all I can really do. God, I, sh I should have gone for the shield. Okay, everyone broke free. Thank God, I was terrified. See, where was all this missing when you were possessed? Unerring justice. What the hell? Okay. Unerring justice. Shouldn't do too much. Alright. How are we missing this much? This is ridiculous. So I'm always missing, Naoto is always missing, what is up with that? Seriously, how? That should not be happening. There's no way it's an RNG thing either. 
Like, this is happening too often for it to be RNG. Persona. Our attack increased, but it's all... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if your attack is increased if you can't hit anything. We're gonna try this again. Watch. It's gonna miss again. Okay, well this one's gonna miss. Because it has every single time. Okay, listen game, I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but I'm really just not digging it. You're, you're really gonna throw all these misses at me, and the one time I say it's not gonna hit, suddenly it works, you change your mind? What the hell? <laughs> like, actually though. Fucking hello. There's the miss I thought I was... Uh, I, I don't know. There's the miss that I had. You get the point. Watch, we're not going to be able to take it down because everybody... Misses. God damn it. <laughs> All of that for 10,000 yen. Heavy physical damage to one foe. Cause you suck. Oh, that's right. There's a child. She looks like she's in pain, but she doesn't seem to be injured anywhere. I mean, she was being very tightly grasped by a middle-aged man. Like, dude had his arms around her neck. Like, that's gonna hurt for a child. This place must not be good for her. We need to carry her out quick. We should take him with us as well. Yeah, we can't just leave him here, I guess. The Return of the Angels achievement unlocked. Nanako-chan, hang in there. <laughs> Nanako isn't waking up. What are we gonna do? She's so small. And she was stuck in there for so long. And then there was that weird fog. Damn it! The police and paramedics will be here shortly. Imagine if Nanako gets into the same hospital room as her dad. Ain't about municipal. Municipal? I don't know. That's what I'm going with. In front of Nanako's room. Nanako isn't allowed any visitors. Nanachan's still small, so her other self didn't appear like everyone else. What if she doesn't have a persona yet? She got caught in all that craziness. I hope she'll be okay. I mean, are the doctors going to be able to help her? <laughs> I'm worried about Nana-chan. But there's nothing more we can do for her. A delivery man named Namatame. 
The possibility of Nanako-chan being targeted. If only I'd been more thorough in putting the facts together, then Nanako-chan <laughs> wouldn't have had to go through this. That goes for me, too. If I hadn't stood there like a lump in front of that bastard, Nanako-chan might have been okay. I hate myself. Why do I always panic when it matters most? I couldn't do anything either. I should have noticed sooner that something was wrong with that guy. Why did I waste time listening to what Namatame had to say? If I hadn't tried to engage him in conversation, and we'd rescued Nanako-chan immediately, this wouldn't have happened. It's no one's fault. But I still... All right. Enough of this pity party. Is standing around and whining really what we ought to be doing now? Feeling pathetic, consoling each other? That gonna solve anything? We gotta believe in her. So stop rehashing what's already done. Get it together, Naoto! Sorry. You're absolutely right. This is all that bastard Namatame's fault. And he's behind bars now, right? And it ain't like we were too late for Nanako-chan. Yeah, that's true. I'll come see Nana-chan every day, so she'll get better faster. That's all we can do right now. What an absolute chad. Gee, Kanji. You sounded cool for a second there. Adachi. You guys still here? Adachi-san, um, did they find out anything? Dojima-san's speaking with the doctor now, but they can't say anything definite until they run some tests on her. Why would you run tests on a child? I get that you need to do what you need to do, but still, like, this is a child! Nanako-chan, but the perp too. Who knows when we'll be able to hear his story. Well, it's getting late, so hurry home. The last thing we need is for you guys to collapse too. He's right. We should call it a night. Nanako-chan's gonna be fine. Acting all gloomy won't help anything. When Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, what do we do to celebrate? Dude, isn't it a little early for that? Why don't we reserve Juness and have a party there? A party at Juness? Uh, that makes no sense. I mean, it's Nanako and she loves Juness. I think it works. Nanako-chan. She'll get better, right? Just believe in her, Teddy. Yeah, I do believe in her. Let's all have fun with Nana-chan when she comes back. You sense Teddy's warm feelings for Nanako and strong trust in you. Thanks. I almost forgot how to keep a happy face. But with that out of the way, I'm feeling all hungry. <laughs> hey! Where did everyone go? Don't leave without me! You've done everything you can. All you can do now is to believe in Nanako and wait for her to recover. Can we get an F in the chat for Nanako? I mean, Nanako's not dead, but, I mean, still, F in the chat for respect. Big respect. You've done everything that could have possibly been done. All you could do was wait for Nanako's recovery. <sighs> Back to the old grind. So Yosuke wants to hang out. So we're gonna go... Let's check the practice building, actually. Is Kanji here? Yeah. Not ready to advance, never mind.
And Risa is not here. Um. Hmm. I guess we should hang out with uh, Yosuke. This is going to be the end of his arc. A hill overlooking town. Yosuke brought you here. I hated this place when I first came to Inaba. You can tell how small the town is from up here. But looking at it now, it's a nice town. <laughs> Yosuke is smiling sadly. Still sad about Saki-senpai? Mm, not as much as last time. But I still feel lonely. Yosuke is looking far off. I want to tell Saki Senpai something. That what's important isn't where you are. This town I hated so much. Now I love it. I mean, there's still nothing here. But I have family and friends and you. The important things are never far off. They're all around you. Yosuke seems a bit embarrassed. I always wanted to be special. I thought my life would finally have meaning if I was special to someone. That's why I was really excited when I got my persona. But I really didn't need it. It's not what you have or what you can do. Just being born, living your life. Before you know it, you're already special to someone. You're right. Yeah. Like you. You're special to me, you know? Yosuke is rubbing his nose. You can feel Yosuke's warm trust. Oh, that was rank 9. Well, that's awkward. Alright. Let's see if we can find everyone's house from here. There's Juness. And that's the main street, so my house is there. The one with that funky roof. Meaning yours is... So, if there was actually, um, scrapped content in Persona 4 Golden, I'm not sure if I mentioned this last stream, there was of, uh, originally going to be a, um, in that social arc with Yosuke you are actually supposed to be able to be in a relationship with Yosuke uh, but they cut the content from there oh a text from Rise. Senpai I heard you like movies right I want to say Roman Paid Holiday just came out I love the original so I was really looking forward to this remake so I'm buying you to, I'm inviting you to invite me out on a date to see it, so ask me out, kissy face. That was... Why did I read it like that? Good lord. Sometimes while we're learning about history, we forget that history is still alive and with us today. The world- I can't pronounce that. Is a planet in the Namib Desert. Some individual specimens may be more than 2,000 years old. It must be very hard being able to survive cruel desert conditions for 20 centuries. It's truly surprising that its two main leaves continue to grow for the entire time. I'm very curious about their overflowing will to live. What desert is the one ever found in? Is the, the, the Namib? The Namib? Namib? I don't know. Good job, you got it right. I bet you're proud of yourself. 
when if I'll gain some of his powers for immortality if I manage to get one of my own. Uh, no. I, I think of all people to be immortal, it should not be you. It's raining, so... Oh, I guess we're not watching the Midnight Channel? Alright then. Uh, is there a book we can read? And there's no need to really read anything, but let's just... I guess we'll just grind through our books. Let's see. Yosuke. Can things increase between us? No. What about Chie? What's up with her? Because I think we're rank 9 with her. Yeah, there we go. Central Shopping District. Finish today's training and decide to stop by with Chie. Today is thankful day! Just you wait! I don't have any more. Don't tell me they're at it again! Let's go! What are you up to? Huh? Aw, oh, not her again. <laughs> I know how to handle this bitch. <laughs> you look like you got something planned. Help! Hear that, Chie Chan? He wants help. How do you know my name? We ran into the guy you saved last time. Had a friendly conversation. He told us all kinds of stuff, like where you live and about that precious Yukiko san of yours. What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? Cause who knows what'll happen to Yukiko-san if you get in our way. Ah, <laughs> man, that's nasty. Why you? <laughs> Things aren't looking good. Let Shie do her thing. All right, so it's okay to rip these punks a new one. Chie seems agitated. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your loved ones? Uh, fine. Then hit me. You're pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? I won't fight back. Be my guest. The face, the gut, just pick a target. As hard as you want. Come on! Freak. Oh? What's with this bitch? She for real? Whatever, man. Let's go. Wow. Way to show them up, Chie. Hell yeah. Miss, thank you. Oh my god. Okay, this is this is a block of text. So I ask, if Robot Fiora, Fiora Shulk's wife, who would Shulk had a baby, what would it be and look like? And I got this response. They can't. Body is completely replaced with mech on parts. If you notice on Mum Car, he was hollow in the torso. All the organs are gone. Huh. Well, would it be all the organs? Or would it just be like. 
I mean, they said hollow in the torso. So maybe they still have some of their vital organs. Just murdered a small boy in Rocket League. Huh. Nice. I haven't played Rocket League in forever. I'm surprised that people actually still play that. I thought... I thought it was a dead game. Huh? Oh, no, don't worry about it. The child ran off. Oof. <sighs> My heart's still pounding. Rocket League is free to play now? Pog. Was that stupid of me? You protected that kid. Thanks. Oh, she blushing. It might have been stupid, but I wanted to save them. 1v1 me, bro? That car soccer? <laughs> the fuck? That kid? Yukiko? How I feel about this isn't fake. I really want to protect them. Chie is smiling gently. When I'm through with you, they'll, they'll never, never find, find your body. body. And even if they did, all they find would be your resub to MCN Mike. Thank you so much for the resub chaos with that two month streak. Big, big respect, my guy. K-pop. <laughs> Trying to grind out those K-pop emotes. Alright, so we are rank 9 with Chie. Let's freaking go. So now people are taking mortal blows. Um, that really blows. I also want to protect you. Ah, she said, but... Okay, I was about to start, like, yelling, like, siren sounds, but uh, people in my house are probably trying to sleep by now. Uh, but... Get the horny police. Chie is simping for us k-pop equals k okay no k-pop as a musical genre is fine it's the k-pop stands who are very how do i put it i'm, I'm trying to choose my words carefully because i don't want to be like i don't want to be mean about this it's not the K-pop genre that's cancer. It's some of the people that are really pushing K-pop by uh, taking advantage of Twitter hashtags for the purpose of posting fan cams. Like, you're allowed to like K-pop. Like whatever you want. But if, if it's like a hashtag like a celebrity dies, like when Kobe Bryant died, if there are K-pop stands posting, you know, Hashtag rip Kobe Bryant and then it's just a fan cam of K-pop then that's kind of like Well, not kind of that's just objectively stepping over a line, but K-pop in essence isn't necessarily bad I personally don't listen to K-pop, but if there are people who like it I mean who am I to tell them what to like, you know? I got nine so far. I wasn't even trying I, I've been getting so many from people just subbing to channels I watch. Like Andy yesterday. I might be a little flaky and maybe you don't even need protecting. We always need protection. Wink. But I... I want to protect you. <laughs> the mood is right. However, you're in a relationship with another girl, unless if you want to go harem, and we are not doing the harem route. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Yep, I'm counting on you. So, let's have some steak! Hell yeah! Harem King? Hell no. I've never actually gotten a harem ending in a Persona game. Like, they exist, but I've just, like, you have to... 
If you want to get every social link maxed and have all your social stats maxed, you have to play the game in one specific route. You can't make any mistakes. And I am just not capable of figuring it out or anything like that. Like, I just, I, I can't do that. So there's no way I would ever go for a harem ending. New name on Twitch. You see, I can't help but feel like that wouldn't exactly be, you know, brandable. I mean, I would get sponsored by Adam and Eve, sure, but... In his dreams, I would never dream of being in a harem. So we're going to go outside, something else gamers don't like to do very often. Speaking of simp. Say is not ready to advance. We're gonna go for it anyway, though. Sponsor from Adam and Eve or any company for that matter is still good stuff. I guess, yeah. I guess if anybody is sponsoring me, that's good because, you know, financial stability. But I mean, considering that we haven't even broken 200 followers yet, there's no way I'm getting sponsored. The closest that we have, um, is like we work with Tiny Build, but that's not even a sponsorship, that's an affiliation after talking with the community manager. But, I mean, I'm thankful that I even get to work with an indie dev in any indie dev in a professional capacity. That's an opportunity that most people don't really have. Mike's only girlfriend's name is his right hand. I mean, I've heard of having a right man, a right hand man, you know, kind of like your best bud, but like, oh, you're talking about my actual right hand. I'm a, I can't words today. Why not the left hand? Why is it always the right hand? Society is so biased around using the right hand. Normalize ambidextrous jerking. I hate what I just said. Not ready to advance? No. Let's see. If our relationship is not up with Rise, or not ready to advance with Rise, then we're gonna go to the shrine and... In God damn it, she's right there. Okay, shrine it is! 90% of the world is right-handed. Well, that means 10% are jerking it with the left you gotta you gotta acknowledge that 10 percent i really hate everything that i'm saying right now so we're gonna go for rise here because that's our main simp objective our simp mission your relationship could become stronger let's go rank 10 let's fucking go You see, I'm not sure if I would actually want to be sponsored by Adam and Eve. Like, I'm sure they are a good company. You know, but like... I really don't want to be known for... being sponsored by... a company that makes adult toys. <laughs> Choosing my words carefully, because Monka TOS. So I can't say I would instantly go for it. I mean, I might. I mean, I might go for the sponsorship if the, you know, terms are, you know, enticing enough. Because, you know, I mean, you got to know your worth as a content creator. But I would prefer other 
other sponsors for more relevant uh, companies. If that makes sense. More relevant industries. Works great for Critical. Well, you see, the thing with Critical, he is... His general conversation revolves around that kind of thing. Like, he... He is, like, one of those no-filter humor kind of channels. Which, like, that's totally fine. Like, he can go ahead and do that. But... That's not really the kind of create content creator I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be more so... You know, someone that focuses on mental health. And trying to create a wholesome community. So... Adam and Eve wouldn't exactly fit into that brand. You know? The dream sponsor would be G Fuel. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Like, G Fuel... Even if I only got a shaker cup, I don't even want a flavor. If I got a shaker cup, that's when I know I've made it. Like, I, I would be so down to get a sponsorship from G Fuel. I still got my three tubs. I'm thinking of ordering that Crash Bandicoot flavor. His mango honestly sounds really good. Censorship needs to end. What do you mean it needs to end? Censorship is kind of a necessary evil, you know? Also, why do we keep getting mild blessings from the shrine? I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> it's dumb. MCN Mike G Fuel flavor. What would my flavor even be? I wonder, like, because so many. F you know what? I would just take the cotton candy flavor because, you know, then the cotton candy flavor wouldn't be claimed by someone who is a total dickweed. You know who I'm talking about. Ferret flavored G Fuel. What would that even taste like? <laughs> Raw be- Oh my god, no. What the- Why? Raw be Jesus Christ. Chicken pot pie flavor. Why not? The sky's the limit when you don't give a shit, you know? Alright, we're just gonna keep going to the shrine until we're able to advance our relationships with everybody and then knock them all out in the in a row. I just hit my headset. That kinda hurt my nail. Uh Yukiko again. Small blessing. No. I mean, they did do spicy demonade, which is like spicy lemonade. So, like, I guess weird flavors aren't out of the question. I'm not even going to read that flavor out loud. <laughs> just, just no. I mean, hey, you are what you eat. So if you want that flavor, go right ahead. Spicy Demon Aid is the best flavor? What? I'd rather get Spicy Demon Aids. <laughs> Want y'all to know, I'm not motivated to do anything right now. <laughs> Same! As you discover something's wrong, the star is just gonna stick with you. Don't rush into marriage. I'm not planning on getting married, are you kidding me? Do I look like the kind of guy that would get married? Do I look like the kind of guy that would have any kind of romantic attachment to anybody? <laughs> I just want a beer! <laughs> yes! Toss me a Corona light, brother. Alcohol has to do with the roots of the word bridal. How? What? Uh, I'm assuming bride sake? No, Bride Ale. Today I learned. Speak of beer, time for some now. Hell yeah, brother. Pour one out for the boys. 
came about in England. Ale was drunk during festivals and merry gatherings. Now I just drink whenever the fuck we can fit in a cup. Can't get through a marriage <laughs> drink or two anyway. <laughs> My parents can attest to that. Well, they like to joke about that. Hey, I got you. This man, this man, Baronair217, this boy right here, he a, he a real G. He a real G right now. I'm gonna just say that. You know what, since I'm, since I'm shouting out people, Shadow the Hedgehog is a bitch-ass motherfucker. If anyone hasn't seen the Sonic Adventure fan dub, oh my god, watch it. It... I swear to God, it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. After marriage, you head directly to alcoholism? Hell yeah. Just do it before you get married. You know, may as well get ahead of the game. Uh, let's go Chia this time. Crap. Why well, didn't read that? <sighs> God damn it. I'm gonna assume things are fine. <laughs> What if I never get married? Throw a fucking party, bro. Like, like I'll like join the club, honestly. At this point, I can't tell if this is a wholesome community, or we're just a bunch of... ...virgins. Not virgins, but we're just a bunch of... We're just a bunch of single chads, you know? I should just start my videos with, What up, virgins and virgettes? I hate... I... Okay, you know what? I quote Scott the Waz. That's my secret. I would, but you know how bad the Rona is getting, especially around here? Oh yeah, cases are going up in every state. Even my British friends, cases have been going up over there. Uh, I have a friend in Taiwan, and I can only imagine how things are over there. Says the guy who doesn't know what a razor is. Fuck you, bro. I like the beard. I think the beard is fine. It just needs- I, I just need to do a bit of a cleanup, you know? Beard game weak? Bro, I've seen your beard. It's not any better. Honestly, I've been meaning to shave for like the past few days. I've just forgotten to because I'm so friggin' tired these days. Like, it's hard for me to stay awake after coming home from work. I'm just like, I want to shave the beard, but I want to sleep. So we have the day off from school, but it's raining. We're going to go downstairs. That was a year ago. At this point, I have no sense of time. In fact, uh, you know what? Let me, let me just check the date right here. Uh, it's actually, let's see, uh, March 204th. That shows how little concept of time I actually have. It's March 204th. Both of you couldn't, wouldn't qualify. I have never seen you with a beard. And having seen like, fuck! 
All right, we're going to go buy some seeds. Whoa, well, man, you didn't tell me you were doing seed. Oh, she's not here. It's raining. We just waste our time. Hey, I'm back from a long day outside. Now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Enaba region later tonight. Fog will set in tonight. Midnight channel time, bitches. Every day is free at your June ass. Just gonna say that because Nanika's not here this time. You know why? She's in the hospital. TV's just gonna be blank like every other time. Nanako's been rescued. Let's go. Fog is covering the town. Now hold on, why would you show? Why, why would you show us that, huh? Why'd, why? Why? Why show us that? Wait. The fog from yesterday is still there this morning? Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. Front page's headline article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, suspect Taro Namatame, who had been confined to a local hospital, gained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done, and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's depositions. I can English good. Yeah. No? Seriously. <laughs> it's not over this time, I swear. We have, we have like five hours worth of game left. Probably ten. Close to ten. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? It's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Do you remember the 21st morning of November? <laughs> Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. Pog! So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. What's he charged with, Adachi? Spill the tea. Kidnappings and murder and five counts of attempted murder. Those are serious crimes. Oh, I mean, I would think so. It's murder. I think it'll go down in history as one of the worst sprees in Japan. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Yep. It like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Oof, that's hitting close to home for Yosuke. Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Oof. <laughs> the crying phase chaos. I think that's what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Yosuke. Sorry. I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. I do wonder why the weather forecast said clouds every single day of the week. Finals are next week? Oh, fuck my life. Your guess is as good as mine. It's either you trying to make a crying face or cat walked on the keyboard. Everyone's here to see you. Mm -mm. Oh. 
Talking still seems painful for her. Then why would they allow visitors? Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! How many times does this make it today? That's his daughter, you bitch. I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? He was in a fucking car crash. What do you think? How would you feel if you had college finals during finals week in this game? I would end my life. No, I wouldn't. I I would be and no guy to the get. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I would fail so fast. Mm. Well, my wounds are just closed up and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Big bro. <laughs> Do you need anything? Stay here. Oh my god, this is wholesome. I'm gonna go close her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. <laughs> you received an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased. Fog-related health problems? What kind of health problems can be gotten from fog aside from lack of being able to see 10 feet in front of you? Which is quite unusual. Is the fog poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. Poison fog? Well, actually, that does probably exist. I mean, we also had mustard gas, which was... Kinda like that. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to pronounce that chaos. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Mono ultra microscopic silica volcano con coniosis. Fucking what? <laughs> I can't tell if you put random words together or if that's an actual thing. <laughs> The fog is chlorine gas confirmed. Pog. Everybody dies, the game is over. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. <laughs> blowing smoke. There, there we go. It's all smoke. Always has been. That's a real condition? Oh my god. What even is it? What? Why does it have such a long name? Oh my god. Namatami's interrogation has finally begun. The fog that won't lift and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems like you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Hooray! 
chlorine gas. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. If you drive a car while there's fog, that's likely to happen. Is that really a surprise? What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before. So something seems off. Isn't that scary? What would seem off about that? The likelihood of, a, you know, an accident happening when you're driving a car in fog is pretty likely. And if that's his first car accident, then... What, suddenly the first time something happens, it's instantly sus? A chronic lung disease caused by the inhalation of fine silicate or quartz dust. Pneumono refers to the lung. Ultra means extremely. Microscopic means tiny. Silica is sand. Volcano is self-evident. And coniosis is scarring. Good fucking lord. That is the one of the longest words. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Anyway. I'm willing to bet that's a longer word than supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. They cut his brake lines? Depends on who they is. Because the killer's behind bars. I've even heard that he crashed. Experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? I think it's funny how this game is more aware of global warming than the entire government of the United States is. It's the longest word in the dictionary. What? <laughs> Jeez, they must have charged a premium for dictionaries just to pay for the ink used to write it. This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Government doing something about climate change? I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. Noticing a lot of similarities to a certain society. The shape-shifting reptilians. Totally. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Many governments around the world don't consider climate change a real thing. <laughs> they, they need to, you know... Get some fucking education! It is clearly real. Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! Yeah, a bit late for that, buddy. The fog has the virus in it. Oof. The first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? The fog has COVID. Everybody died from COVID. Game ends the credits roll. Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. I mean, viruses are airborne, so... I mean, it's not that far-fetched. Hmm. Is something wrong? Now, 5G cell towers. Now, we know for a fact those cause COVID. Oh, my. I... I'm joking, of course. I'm down with something. Down with the sickness. <laughs> you... You can't be serious. <laughs> Maybe it's mustard gas or fluorine gas or chlorine gas. If it was mustard gas, they'd be dead, like, immediately. I have proof about the theory of COVID being in the fog in a fictional game that takes place in a fictional world. You have a theory that a virus that only started spreading in December made its way into a video game from 2009? Huh? Oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. <laughs> yeah. 
yes. <laughs> Business has been so slow lately. My proof, Alex Jones said it did, so it must be true. Oh, shit. Yeah, the... you heard it here first. It's Alex Jones, guys. That That's the most reliable... That's the second most reliable source of information. Of course, the first being our Lord and Savior, Ben Shapiro. They're putting chemicals in the fog that turn the freaking frogs gay. Have you heard the song from, it was 2000, that spells out this pandemic almost word for word? That is really weird because that's the year I was born. <laughs> Does that mean my birth is the reason for the virus? Does the virus exist because I was birthed? Weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's gonna stay here forever. Yeah, welcome to New York City. Are you actually conservative enough to listen to Ben Shapiro? Oh, fuck no! I don't listen to a thing that guy says. I mean, I consider myself conservative, personally, but I definitely don't listen to Ben Shapiro. Ever. Why? <laughs> Why would you? I do know someone that, like, believes in what Ben Shapiro says unironically. Like, I know someone that unironically watches Ben Shapiro and actually thinks that they make good points. And I hate it. It's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. I also heard that's poisonous. Well then. Actually good points? What do you mean? Ben Shapiro's a dumbass. I thought this was just common knowledge. It's seriously too cold now, such a painful season if you've got back pain. I mean, I do have bad posture. There's a deity that makes your back hurt? It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know, do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. It's a fucking plan, of course it would be. Do you know what an atlas is? That is a... book of maps. I didn't even need to look that one up. Nah fam, are you about to defend fucking Ben Shapiro? Oh my god, guys, it's the midnight hour. Or the, the dark hour. <laughs> From the smarts, if you get that reference. Yo, this is a sick guitar riff. I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. Like, just a subtle bass line where it's just... Probably just hitting the G string, just ba ba ba. Do we get to simp? God damn it. Alright, Yuki K. Great blessing, there we go. Uh, fuck. Relationship will not become stronger yet? What the hell?
I just want to reach rank 10, damn it. Oh, Yosuke wants to hang out? Let's do it! Pandemic by Dr. Creep. Huh. Did you know when originally the U.S. planned on landing on the moon, they were actually afraid that if they built a huge heavy rocket, it would de-orbit the moon? Why is our country so fucking stupid? <laughs> like, for real, why is our country dumb? Like, we have some of the best schools, but some of the dumbest people. You know, home to the elusive Florida man. Oh yeah, did anybody hear about like the stream with uh Alexandria Cortez? Cause like that's all my timeline was about yesterday. That song came out in 2013. The lyrics are 2020 coronavirus body stacking. Oh? <laughs> oh? Do, do time travelers exist? <laughs> I'm starting to think they do. Like, do you have hippomonstrosis equipped aliophobia? I'm gonna Google that. Because that is also something that sounds dumb, but dumb enough to be real. <laughs> the fear of seeing, reading, or pronouncing big words. So I think it's safe to say, no, I don't. <laughs> Today's Labor Appreciation Day? <gasps> Heck yeah! I mean, it means we get to do literally jack shit, but... Yeah, I know. Okina State- Oh, that's right, we're hanging out with Daisuke. What kept you? you wanna catch a movie? Oh, hell yeah! Saw something about a movie that looked cool. It was called Blood, Sweat, Tears, Baseball. Oh, sounds good. All right. <sighs> I know I told you already, I don't wanna see that one. Yeah, let's watch it. Ooh, relationship with Yosuke is gonna be closer. Let's fucking go. We can get to reach... We get to reach rank 10 with Yosuke Hanamura. I don't know why I pronounce things the way I do. The longest English word is the chemical name for the muscle protein Titan. Titan? It is 189,819 letters long. That's probably the length of a small book. Good lord. We're just gonna... Zero one one two three five eight one three. That sounds like the Fibonacci sequence, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna verify that. Okay, yeah, that's that's the Fibonacci sequence. I figured because I I knew that looked familiar. Uh, 
All right, time to max out with Yosuke. And watch, the sky's gonna be clear because of the cutscene. Or not. This is the longest text ever. I was inspired by various other longest texts ever on the internet. I wanted to make my own, so here it is. This is gonna be a world record. This is actually my third attempt at doing this. The first time, I didn't save it. Second time, the Neo Cities editor crashed. Now I'm writing this in Notepad, then copying it into Neo Cities editor instead of typing it directly into in the Neo Cities editor to avoid crashing. It sucks that my past. <laughs> What in the actual fuck are you saying, Ian? I actually just recently heard about Neo Cities. Um, if anybody is a fan of Pokemon, uh, you'll undoubtedly know about Cerebi.net. Uh, that was originally built in Neo Cities. Uh, I was talking to Cerebi Joe today, actually. So fuck has enveloped the area. Something I wanted to tell you. Enveloped? No, enveloped. I'm a dumbass. Oh, <gasps> he loves me. Deep down, I didn't trust you. Wow, fuck you. It's more like I was jealous of you. I thought you were like me, coming from the city to the countryside. I thought you'd be bored out of your mind here. But as soon as you got here, you called your persona, became our leader, gathered people. You're a hero. I like you for that, and I'm proud of you. But I guess I was jealous at the same time. Oh my god, he wants to sim for us. I didn't know. I didn't know it either. When I called you special, I thought some more about it. I think out of everyone, I wanted to be acknowledged by you the most. So, I want you to hit me. Give me a good one. Knock out all this crap inside of me. I want to be equal with you. I want us to stand shoulder to shoulder. So come on. Will hitting Yosuke make you and him equal? Alright, but you hit me first. Huh? But I don't have a reason to hit you. Uh, I got it now. If we're equal, then I guess you're right. Okay, here I come. Take your best shot. You brawled it out with Yosuke? Yikes. <laughs> oh, your punches are brutal. I was seeing stars there for a second. But thanks, man. I don't know how to say it, but... So you're telling me the max social link with our first ever party member is to beat the ever-living shit out of each other at a riverbank? That sure beat words. Fucking genius. You can have this. Buddy's bandage? If you start bleeding, put that on. You know, we should fight more often. What? No. Guy's so high up. Is Saki Senpai watching us? Is she smiling at us? Senpai, I'm going to live without lying to myself, without deceiving myself. This is weird, Some man. Day, days like before when I did nothing. They're all important days. They're all days you didn't live to see. I'm going to live them here. Yosuke is smiling gently. Oh? Yosuke's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Yosuke's persona has been reborn. Jiraiya has transfigured into Susano. You know, it's funny, Susano is actually um, the uh, a swordsman from Okami, uh, a descendant of Nagi. To protect what's dear to me, huh? <laughs> Just what I wanted. It's a Christmas miracle. Let's keep at it so we can live every day with a smile, leader.
So yeah, Susano is actually the um, yeah, a descendant of Nagi. So if you play Okami, you'll actually know about that story. It's pretty cool. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Mada, the ultimate form of the Magician Arcana. Evade Electric. That, that's all you get? Are you kidding me? Triples the evasion rate, that's cool, but like, is it really that useful? I guess we'll get rid of Diorama. Well, we're all counting on you, partner. Big pog all around. So this is probably going to happen uh, at least once or twice more in the rest of this episode because we're trying to get a uh, max social link with everybody. Or at least all of our party members. Alright, we're going to read our expert fishing book before reading the beginner fishing book because we're dumb like that. The old Japanese calendar has different names for the month. September was Nagatsuki and October was Kanazuki. This weather feels like all the gods have gone away and left us since the last month. There are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt, but do you know who's buried in the biggest one? Yes, it is Khufu. Khufu? Kung Khufu Fruit Cup? <laughs> That's right, the Great Pyramid is the tomb of the Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. Mother Russia. No, let's let's not What what does that even What does that even mean? Took over 20 years to build, and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost four millennia. Gonna put this question on next week's test, oh boy. Alright, let's see. Here's a pronunciation of the chemical name. Let, let's hear it. Wait. You're kidding me. That is a three and a half hour video. Hell no. Oh, <gasps> spend time with three. Yes. Actually, wait, no. Spending time at lunch doesn't actually do anything. I don't think. Nothing wrong with Russian, by the way. Just different pronunciation that I'm used to. Yeah, that's understandable. The motherland from Mother Russia. I can't do a Russian accent for the life of me. <laughs> That's a Rick roll. Can't fool me. What the? Bro, we lost our chance to hang out with Rise. God damn it. Alright, back to Yasagami, I guess. Oh, wait, maybe Risei's still in the high school. But yeah, that... That's a... That's a Rick Roll, Red. <laughs> just... Just saying. You ain't fooling nobody. I know for a fact that's a Rick Roll. What you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. 
I, I have an extension that lets me see, um, that lets me see the, uh, when someone posts a YouTube link, it tells me the name of the video so that I know when I'm clicking before I actually click it. Like, with that, who's that Pokemon? I can mute desktop audio and just look at the video. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that's a work roll. But you can hear it because I muted the desktop audio, so everybody wins. Found an easier version? Scotland for Scotland forever. Bagpipes. Scotland forever. What? <laughs> it's an age restricted video, and the only thing in the description is the word bagpipes typed like a hundred times. <laughs> So, okay, there's a there's a comment that says lyrics Scotland forever. It's wife bagpipes and screams. Jesus, uh, what is wrong with people? Are your ears okay? No, they're not. <laughs> they're re they're really not. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if somebody yelled the word Scotland forever in your ear, you probably you'd probably go deaf too. <laughs> <gasps> There's we say yes. It is simping time. Oh, wait, wait, hold, <sighs> hold on, hold on. Okay, I accidentally skipped over the text, but she said, "There's one place I want to go, your room." I use this to find my Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> Imagine if, like, someone tried to steal your Bluetooth headphones, and, like, this person is running away, and you just play this video, and all they can hear is Scotland forever! <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing. You know what Gibby's thing? Oh my god, yeah, that video. That video is a banger right there. Hold on. I'm not- I- I'm pretty sure it has copyrighted material. What is it? Okay, yeah, uh, that's not really, <laughs> it's not, um, against copyright law, it's just the, um, how do I, how do I put it, the content of that video is, uh, very manga TLS. In any other scenario, I would play that video out loud, but I cannot risk it. <laughs> Okay, so basically, uh, Rise wants to go to our room, so we're gonna... You already know what's happening. It's a Persona game. If you've played a Persona game before, you know exactly what's about to happen. We're gonna hold hands. Uh, um, I am currently in Senpai's room. Seems quite clean for a boy of his age. Are you monologuing? There doesn't seem to be anything lying around that he wouldn't want me to see. Oh, that's in the other room. What? Mike, isn't that what Rise was thinking? Oh, that's exactly what she was thinking. Like, every girl in this game wants you. Now then, where could the goods in question be hiding? Don't check under the futon. I'll ask the man himself. So, where do you hide them? 
<laughs> you wanna see? No, what do you mean? Oh, stop acting all normal. You know how embarrassed I feel right now? Jeez. I've never been in a guy's room before, so I tried covering it up. And you, you meanie. <laughs> Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see, I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am reset after all. My headphones almost fell off. <laughs> and when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. It hasn't even been a year. It's been like a few months since you dropped your agent. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? I'll do it for her. For my old manager, Inoue-san. Did her boss fight inspire her? Oh my god! <laughs> she just looked at the VOD of her own boss fight. She's like... You know what? That's hot. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's all good chaos. We, we get weird here sometimes. For my family, everyone, you, and for myself. Risei's eyes are shining. Senpai, this. I want you to have it, Senpai. You obtained signed photo? Oh, fuck yeah. That's going straight on eBay. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it reset. Or I guess whatever the Japanese equivalent to eBay is. I don't know if they have anything different. A reset without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. That's just called another person. I would be so nervous to say that in something like Foos or maybe Bird's stream. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I think in uh, Foos stream, I've said like one or two things where I'm just like, I regret pressing send on that message. So, it, I mean, it happens. I guess I'm just more... I seem to be more laid back about it because, like, I'm not partnered on Twitch, so there isn't much pressure to stay partner friendly, you know? So I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. There's a lot of resays inside me. I won't try to change them. There's a lot of resays inside you. We are going to change my name to Reese. No, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> I bet the character would change their name to Reese. Let people know that those Reese's exist. Oh my God! I need to. I need to like not speak words anymore. That's the me I want to be. <laughs> Although, given the uh, point of this room, I guess that comment would make sense, <laughs> given the mature themes. Risei's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened to her heart's true power. I have taught you well. No, the fuck you have it. What do you mean? <laughs> Risei's persona has been reborn. Himiko has transfigured into Kanzion. That looks hardly different. My that, powers have changed? That's hardly any different at all. I've become a little stronger. Thanks to you being with me. Oh my god, the power of friendship. Um, Senpai? As long as you're watching me, I'll do my best. I mean, there's room on the futon for two. So, um, well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. Any, anything? Can you do my laundry? my love hundreds of times on TV. I mean, those were scripted. Why can't I do it in person? Because you're not getting paid. <sighs> Risei, her face red, is at a loss for words. MCN simp in chat? Okay, look, chat, we're only simping 
for one person. All right, we're not trying to go full on harem. So like, just remember, it could always be worse. Um, I'm sure I can hang in there as long as you're watching me, because, um, you're special to me. I figured. <laughs> I mean, you're blushing. I I would think that's a good indicator. You can sense Risei's unconditional love. You feel a tight bond between you and Risei. I think I found what Risei was talking about. I was inside her. Top 20 most weird objects found in human rectums. <laughs> Why is that a video? Why would you do that? I mean, you know, I'm actually kind of disappointed that's not Watch Mojo. That's just a different channel who also does top tens or whatever. But like, really? They they actually thought, you know what? People have probably shoved a lot of things in their rectums. Let's make just a whole ass video about that. No. It's so stupid. <laughs> Thalatai, I am thou. We have read the ship before. Lovers Arcana, Ishtar. You get the point. Get used to seeing that text. Rise will revive you from a mortal blow once per battle. That is a really good skill. No matter what I'm doing. I am me. I can say that for sure now. And the strength to say so, it was you who found it for me. I'm going to like the me you found. After all, I like the you who found her. Senpai, I love you. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. This is cute. I love you. This is legitimately adorable. Senpai, keep watching me, so I won't mess up again. Look at me. I like how we're just standing there awkwardly, just our hand on our hip, like, yeah, this girl's hugging me. What of it? <laughs> like, what? Simps. I mean. Correct. <laughs> That's literally what we're doing. Well, I, I've never gone through this kind of thing, so. Oh my God, she wants to bang. Um, if we were on a TV set, this would be a wrap. So, uh, what am I supposed to do after this? <laughs> <laughs> you passed a long while with Rise. Now, it doesn't tell you explicitly what happened, but, uh, I'm pretty sure you can get an idea. It's gotten dark, so you walked Risei to her house. Look at how cute you are, he's such a gentleman! I mean, at this point, do we even want to sleep on this futon tonight? We might just want to stick with the couch <laughs> just for tonight, you know? Oh? Okay, so literally after we, you know, we do it all woohoo with Rise, literally when we're sleeping, we're dreaming that you were comforting a crying kanji. And our friendship with Kanji intensified in our sleep. That is just weird. And then we literally don't care about what those two have to say. What's up, you guys? You don't look so well. I'm on fucking cloud nine. I don't know about you. Are you exhausted from studying for the test around the corner?
Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? What? <laughs> dates? But people go on dates on Christmas? What? That's weird. New vid dropping in chat soon. Make sure it's not like, you know... Can't be posting any fucked up stuff, you feel me, dog? I think you're bi, Mike. It's not that weird. You know, at this point, I can't even tell. I, I, I don't even... I don't fucking know. <laughs> I really don't know. It, it's funny you mention that chaos because, like, for context... And I'm pretty sure, like, everyone else in chat can attest to this. As a person, I'm kind of, like, expressive. Like, I'm kind of all over the place with energy and all that. And <laughs> the funny thing about that is, uh, in college, um, I was so flamboyant that literally all my female friends thought I was gay. And I'm pretty sure to this day they're still convinced that I am. Even though I told them that I'm not. So, personally, I'm straight. However, I will make jokes that would seem like I'm implying I'm bi. I, I personally, I don't swing that way. But I like to make jokes implying that I do. If that makes sense. Have you seen three guys, one hammer? I don't want to know what that is, because that... That just does not sound good. <laughs> that that sounds... Yikes. <laughs> that sounds like it would be a traumatizing piece of media to consume. I feel like mine might think the same. <laughs> oh, join the club. I thought you were gay in high school. Wow. And I thought you were single in high school. Oh, wait. <laughs> I got my Christmas date already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. Oh, okay. Which of these is considered a rice cake? A bale of rice. That is mochi. Which is actually uh, Kung Fu's friend's cat. Mochi is a type of rice cake. So Kung Fu, if you're watching this, your cat might be made of rice. I didn't want to have to be the one to tell you, but someone had to. But you think of cake, you think dessert. But something pounded together is also called a cake. So... Okay, so Kung Fu, your cat is basically rice that was pounded together. That gains sentience. Uh, yeah, do with that information what you will. We are the new vid that will be dropping in Discord chat proves that. Is that the um the rap that uh what's his face did about bonding for a science project? <laughs> for those who don't know, um we went to high school with a guy who had to do uh something about bonding. It, it was like a, a science assignment. So he covered he did a parody of Trap Queen by Fetty Wap, uh, by Fetty Wap, and it's so cringe. It is so funny. <laughs> Kamaboko is a fish cake. Fish meat pounded together. That sounds fucking disgusting. Probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. I don't want to be eating fish cakes ever. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> like and share and tag three people who would eat fish cakes. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Sagaki rice. Nice. 
That was not supposed to rhyme. <gasps> Rise! We're able to hang out with you again. But we're not going to. <laughs> Bang you later. I mean, see you later. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's hang out with Kanji. The boy. It was fire when I wrote- You wrote that? I am so sorry. <laughs> GA Senpai says the steak bowl here is great. She's the expert. Oh boy. You're Kanji Tatsumi, right? I'd like to have a word with you. Huh? Yeah, well I wouldn't. Come with me. On what charges? You're the kid that Tatsumi's been hanging out with lately. I see, so you're in cahoots. It wasn't meant to be great. <laughs> That's very... That was made very clear. That's right, punk! So what if we hang out? What's it to you? You know, there's been a group of teenage bullies lurking around here, don't you? We got a tip saying you've been threatening a child at the hill in the floodplain. Threatening? Child? Oh, him. So you admit it. Not a shred of remorse, either. It's a misunderstanding. What was he doing? Uh, that's... He's hesitant to say. You two are gonna have to come with us down to the station. Quit it. Senpai has nothing to do with this. Oh, hey, it's the boy! Mister, what are you doing? Can you tell me how you know them? I don't think they're being straight with me. Just after we got done talking about whether I'm bi or not, they're telling us that we're not being straight. This boy asked you for anything. For instance, did he claim he lost his money? You lost your money? You can have some of mine! That's... what? How was that proof against him? I came today to give you the cookies, Mom Bank. This thanks. I was going to sneak in and leave them at Tatsumi Textiles, but here you are. Thanks. Thanks for what? He made me a bunch of dolls. He's real good. Dolls? And you're saying Tatsumi made them? <laughs> wow, the police officers don't even believe that he has actual human fucking empathy. The truth is the truth. <laughs> Listen up, punks. There ain't any lying about it. I made the kid some dolls. What with the ones for his friends and his mom? It was eight all told. Let me warn you. They're so cute they'll give you diabetes. have a map because I don't know where he's going with this shit. What's most important? I ain't gonna make this kid or senpai a liar. Hey you! That button's falling off! <laughs> I'm gonna sew it back on you here. That's really funny. Well for sure. What are you doing with my kanji? Kanji had nothing to do with them. Kanji's mom. Call my name, Clutch. He would never do such a thing. He may be stupid and short. Who refers to their child as stupid? Come on, man. He showed me his dolls and he told me I could put them up for sale. D you old bag. What are you saying? <laughs> That's really funny. Empathy is disgusting. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Empathy is hella... Hella cool. It's totesy yeet, yo! You would never do such a thing. A mother knows. I need to prepare dinner now. Don't go stuffing yourself at Aya before coming home. She knows him so well. Well, I mean, she's also his mother. I guess that makes sense. Mister, are you crying? <laughs> I ain't crying. 
This is snot. I got a cold. You know, there's toxic fog made out of mustard gas. Well, this was all kinds of weird. Rank 8, though. Good god, I'm so tired. 6% of max HP each turn. Hell yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah, I have just realized we're now further ahead in the game than we are in uh, the year 2020 right now. Because we're in uh, late November. I don't know why I felt the need to mention it, but that's why I said it. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Kung Fu got a DMCA warning? Yeah, it seemed like everybody got them. Because, um, Bird got one. I'm pretty sure Keyzeron got one. Um, like a lot of the Twitch streamers I follow uh, got some DMCA notifications from Twitch. See, Twitch has this habit of, like, yeah, let's see. Twitch has a habit of, like, doing things and not telling us, you know? The, the kind of thing where, like, okay, so in this case, they are putting out DMCA warnings for old content on the site. So you're probably wondering, oh, that's cool. You know, they're just enforcing the DMCA. That's what they're supposed to do. Well, um... They won't tell you what content is violating copyright law. So they're not actually telling you anything useful. Let's see, melon seedling. Sure. Sure, we'll buy the wall paprika. I mean, fortunately, I haven't been hit with a DMCA claim yet. That's because I don't use copyrighted content. Uh, the only copyrighted content could come from, you know, my games, but... I mean, I've yet to get anything about that. You're late. I'm late? What? Oh, that's right, we have to hang out with Marie. Let's do it. The only thing that would be... Um, DMCA worthy for me. Uh, the animated cutscenes in Persona 4 Golden have given me copyright claims on YouTube, uh, on the VODs, uh, and also the background music. Uh, however, uh, you might notice at the beginning of streams, uh, there's usually, the, you know, the stream starting soon screen, and there's, like, music playing in the background. I use non-copyright, uh, music. Not like the the brand non copyright music. I use um, Stream Beats by Harris Heller, and that's like copyright free music. So I'm basically at no risk at all. They're able to tell you you have copyright material. They can tell you what the content is. Exactly, and that's the thing. Twitch historically is not good at communicating with its creators it is a it, it's an awful trend that we're seeing with all these platforms because you they're willing to go as far as to say all creators are welcome new and old experienced and inexperienced and you know like the like the floor is open to everybody anyone could really start making videos and uploading but they don't like to tell you what kinds of things are not like what kinds of things you can't do you know like they don't tell you about copyright law uh, we remember with the COPPA situation YouTube wasn't you know responding accordingly uh, Twitch hasn't been communicating about DMCA claims 
Like, it's just consistently bad. Twitch staff have often stopped into Fu's stream. And they're not communicating this stuff to her. Uh, I think, because uh, the only Twitch staff member I've seen in her chat was RSS. And from what I understand, they're just, like, their actual, like, friends. So I think that's why, uh, they're, like, in there. So, uh, I don't know for sure if RSS is actually in the department that handles, like, uh, copyright, uh, content. So, they could be completely unrelated to the situation, but... Uh, as for other Twitch staff, I mean... If other Twitch staff are stopping by Kung Fu stream, then yeah, it, it's entirely possible. Although, Kung Fu also has a lawyer. Um, oddly enough, I've actually met her lawyer. <laughs> He's a real chill guy. Um... So, I would imagine that she kind of has, she kind of has a safety net, because she has a lawyer, so, you know, legal ramifications and um, all that can be, I guess, presented to her, and she has someone to represent her legally. Dadfax, is that, is that his actual username? Because there was, like, someone in chat with the username Lawyer Friend. Or, like, Your Lawyer Friend. I think was their Twitch name. But if it's actually Dadfax, then I guess I met Dadfax. So about my memories, what do you think I should do? Hey. I said that I don't know what to do about my memory. Try meditating. Meditating is nice. It's difficult to say. Meditate, enemy, enemy spotted. That's a tongue twister. How will that help? The only thing I remember is this. Maurice shows you the bamboo comb again. If you remember, I told you that I had this when I first started remembering. Will this help? Uh, is it sold somewhere? Maybe we can find something out if we find where I got it from. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Sharp Hand Joe? You see my message in Discord? What's the haps? Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Cheers, brother. Um. Oh, wow. Okay. I got some interesting messages from other friends. Not going to say what the message contents are because it's sensitive information, but... Wow, I have got a lot of uh, messages to respond to. <laughs> Maybe we can find something out of Okay, yeah. Where we come from? Where we go? Doesn't look like the ones at your nest. They don't look anything like this. Do you know of any stores that might sell stuff like this? What store around here might deal in old combs? Tatsumi Textiles? That old timer's place? Kind of surprising. I mean, an old object at an old store? It works. Hey, best girl is here. Yo, Yo welcome- oh senpai. oh, senpai. What a coincidence, Marie-chan's with you too. I swear we are not banging. <laughs> Don't tell me the two of you are on a d Oh my god, Risei. For the love of god. <gasps> of course it's a- No! It's not like that. Don't scare me like that. This. Do 
you know what this is? Tell me anything you know. Anything at all. It's, uh, it's a comb. <laughs> Pretty damn old one. That's a comb? Doesn't look like it's very easy to use with that shape. What do you want from me? You need me to figure out where this thing came from? Can you? I don't know anything, but... Yeah. Hey, ma! <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. Don't shout so loud. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Who's this girl another of Kanji's friends? She wanted to know about this comb. You know anything, ma? A comb? Let me see. Mmm. This is very old. We don't carry anything like this one. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never seen a comb shape like this. I don't think it would be for everyday use. Maybe better luck asking at a museum or a gallery. So it's rare. <gasps> eBay! I don't know if it's rare, but it's simply not something that would be sold around here. <laughs> don't talk to your mother like that. Sorry, I couldn't be any help, but I've really never seen anything like this. When I have been given it as a gift? I mean, probably. Combs don't make very good gifts. <laughs> Write this down. Write this. This is, this is knowledge that you need to have. Combs don't make very good gifts. The word for comb, kushi, has the sounds for the words for pain. Ku and death, shi. So, a comb is essentially pain death. It's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation, but I don't know if kids today care about that stuff. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Are you in, Tatsumi-san? May I have a word with you? Alright, well, business and stuff. She said separation? I didn't know that combs are actually bad luck. Well, today I learned. Separation? Are you alright? Does your head hurt? Oh, you okay? Stick your ass down get some rest. Marie grimaces. Do you remember something? What do, do you remember anything? I don't know. But there's something. It's gone. I can't remember. Something came up in my mind. I was almost about to recall it. She looks vexed. Can't remember. You don't remember anything about that comb? Huh? Wait a second. That's not yours? <gasps> she stole it! Don't worry about it. It's my problem. Wouldn't it be easy to just tell them that she has amnesia? I feel like that would solve a lot of confusion. What'd she say? A museum? A gallery? <laughs> you can feel Marie's trust for you. Hell yeah! Um... <laughs> it's foggy. Hmm, I couldn't tell. Marie is bothered by the fog. There must be some reason why she would mention it. Hmm. Marie Chan's a bit mysterious. What? Yeah, mysterious enough to make you think that I'm dating her. But I think on that awkward note, because social interaction is dumb. <laughs> it's overrated. I think we're going to end things off right now. We've been going for quite a while. So, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow my Twitch channel the, the, down, in the, down in the description below so you know when I go live next on Wednesdays and Fridays at 9, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, I can English today, I swear. Uh, if you're watching in the Twitch chat, thanks for tuning in, as always. Apparently we dropped 
some frames. Sorry about that. This is good beer. Hell yeah, brother. All right. So we're going to throw a host over uh, to a friend, probably Kung Fu, because I don't know. I hardly have to type any letters for the raid or whatever. Going VC. I got to go to sleep. I, I'm sleep deprived as hell, bro. Reading about the DMCA stuff that went on yesterday. They straight up deleted the copyrighted material themselves already. What the fuck, Twitch? <laughs> Alright, well, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Um, Persona 4 Golden is going to be on hold for a little while. I don't know how long. Uh, probably not for a long time. Uh, it's probably going to be a short-term, um, short-term pause on Persona 4 Golden because this Friday, uh, the Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra DLC, is releasing, and we are going to play that because I believe for Isle of Armor, I also played that live when it came out, so. Yeah, if you're interested in Pokemon, or if you have a friend who's interested in Pokemon, send them a link to the Twitch channel, and, uh, you know, be sure to tune in, we're gonna have some fun. So hopefully you'll join me for that on Friday. So for reals, I will see you guys in the next one.